www.mindfulpractitionersdiscussions.tm.com and just thought I would put out this little video about why I love Manicam. And also, rather than just tell you why I love Manicam, I thought I would actually show you and demonstrate some of the things that I mean, uh, because it may also give you some ideas about how you can put this into practice for yourself. So I've just, there are a load of things, and I've just picked out what I would kind of call the top five, um, because otherwise I could keep you here all day. Um, so one of the first things I'm going to say about Manicam is the lower third is like a magic magnet. Now what I mean by that in terms of the lower third is the banner you can see, so let me just show you, hi, <laughs> the banner you can see at the bottom of the screen which says Marilyn D, the Neuro Success Coach. For those of you who are new to creating videos, that's what you call the lower third. And I have lost count of the number of Facebook messages, messages in Facebook groups that I'm in and emails that I receive with people saying, how did you do the lower third? Where did you get the lower third? Because I might be running a webinar and they're in the webinar platform and they're saying, I can't find that function in the webinar. How do you do it? How do you create the lower third? So I'd say that's one of the things that um, people absolutely love about Manicam. And so whichever program I'm in, whether I'm doing a YouTube video, whether I'm running a webinar, whether I'm doing a Facebook Live, if I choose to, I can have the lower third there. And one of the ways that it's useful for me as a business owner is if I don't remember to say my name or to say the name of my company or to say what it is I actually do, then the lower third is there as that kind of descriptor piece. So that's the first one. So let's see what else, what else, what else. Let's go back to this. Another thing I love about it, and this is kind of it in action now while we're talking, is that you can pretty much run mini workshops on Facebook. So let's just say, for example, when I did my, well, I'm still doing it, when I did the A to Z of photo reading, for example, rather than me just talking about photo reading and explaining, you know, how do you read at 25,000 words a minute and how do you photo read a whole book in less than five minutes? What I could actually do is I could create slides that I can then run during my Facebook live session, much as I'm doing now in terms of, you know, showing you the next slide. So that's another thing that I really, really love about it. What I've also been do using it for is to do kind of product launches and, and showcase new products. So let me give you an example of that as well. Um, so I've just launched, for example, in, oh, they're here actually, I've just finished doing a reading. Uh, so I've just launched a new coaching card deck. So, you know, cards that people can use much like if somebody let's say into angel tarot or something like that but this is around coaching so what I can do is I can do the product launch using Manicam and it means then I'm talking like I'm talking to you now you can see the product um, there while I'm speaking I could also let's say if I'm going to direct somebody to the website where they could purchase the deck I can show them you know what it looks like this is what you're going to be expecting when you land on the website so that's another thing that i really like i love about it in terms of how you can use it what you can do with it let's see let's see next thing oh yeah now this one for me um i've said a picture paints a thousand words and i think i could basically just leave it there because even in some of the stuff that i've already played with here i've chosen pictures and images that actually say something so you know the holding image of i just thought the the little dog was cute um and so that would be one that can maybe catch your eye let's just say for example if i were i think i've got one in here yeah, so let's just say, for example, I was showing a testimonial. So I could put that up, that could be my holding slide, for example. And so while the Facebook Live is warming up, while I'm getting ready to speak, I can have that on screen. Um, and even if people can't read all of the writing, they will maybe be intrigued by the picture. What is it all about? Sort of what's going on? Um, for example, I could maybe show kind of one of the coaching cards, let's say if I was doing something like that. And so I could have that on the screen while I'm talking. And one of the things I would also say for people who are not that keen on presenting and they're not that keen on public speaking, you don't necessarily want to have your face on camera the whole time. Then one of the things that Manicam allows you to do is to have that slide up. And so you can then be saying whatever it is you want to say without having to, to worry and think about being on camera. Um, so that's another thing that I really, you know, find really kind of useful about it. 
And also it just makes sessions more interesting. So let's just say, for example, there's something I run every month for my membership group, Think Tank Thursday. Um, it's like a management consultancy session. So people can ask anything they want about life, work, business, relationships, the universe, and anything in between. And if there's a point that I wanted to make or a few things that I wanted to highlight, I can actually be talking and then I can have the screen up next to me and I can use it for that. And it just means then that rather than people sitting looking at me uh, the whole time, they can actually have something else to focus on. And if I were, because I do something called, let's say, Tarot Tuesday um, once a month for another one of my groups. And it could then be that if I wanted to, let's see, I had one. Da, da, da. Yeah. So let's just say, for example, I was using a new deck this month. So I was using the Banksy deck. Banksy is, is an artist, um, does street art. And so in terms of doing that, um, rather than holding the cards up and shuffling through them all on stage, I could just put some of them up on the screen and people can get a sense of, of that while I'm talking. So as I said, there are a ton of things that I've used it for and a, a load of, of ways that it has made me a better content creator. And that is just a few of them. So I just thought I would share those with you. Um, got any questions? If you've got any queries, um, it's my email address is marilyn at transformationstm.com. You can see the spelling of Marilyn on the screen, M-A-R-I-L-Y-N. And then transformationstm.com is in my lower third. So thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to see how other people have been using Manicam. And if you're new to it uh, and you're on Facebook, feel free to tag me in. I'd love to see kind of what you're up to and how you're using it. So thank you for watching. Catch you later. Bye bye.